Don't get me wrong, I love a good charcuterie board, but sometimes something different as an appy is really nice, especially when it's as easy as this one. Today, I'm gonna make puff pastry with torn burrata and marinated cherry tomatoes. We're gonna slice our cherry tomatoes in small little bite-sized pieces. Sometimes they're not all the same size. I like to use the tri-color, so try and cut them as evenly as you can. We're gonna set those aside in a bowl with one clove of minced garlic, and you're gonna wanna marinate them in a really good olive oil. So we have our sliced cherry tomatoes, we have our garlic, we're gonna mince that. Don't use too much garlic. I'm all for more seasoning the better, but in this case, it's gonna be way too garlicky and it'll be all you can taste. So we're gonna let these tomatoes sit and marinate while we get our puff pastry ready. We're gonna hit it with a little salt and pepper, and then let's get to work on our puff. So puff pastry is sold frozen. It comes in these sheets. One third will yield about three to four rounds, depending on how big you like them. I like them bite size. You could make them bigger, serve it with a side salad as a lunch, but as an appy, I think a three inch round is perfect. So we're gonna cut it out and you wanna work quickly because puff pastry doesn't like warm temperature. If it does get too warm, you can just pop it back in the freezer before you bake it. If you don't have a cookie cutter, you could do squares, cut it out by hand. This can all be done ahead of time too, so it's ready to go when you wanna serve them. So we're gonna pop this into a 425 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown and puff. So our puff pastry is perfectly puffed. So we're gonna take our cherry tomatoes that were sitting waiting for us. We're just gonna scoop them right onto our serving plate. You wanna make sure you use a good non-stick baking pan so that they pop like right off like that. We're gonna make a little hole in the top that will house our cherry tomato. So just pop them in like that. And don't shove them too full, otherwise they'll break. So you just want maybe three or four pieces in each little puff. Then we're gonna take our burrata and tear a piece and just place it right on top. We're gonna finish with some basil chiffonade and a good drizzle of aged balsamic. Make sure you use a quality balsamic because that's the first thing that hits the mouth. For this puff pastry, torn burrata, cherry tomato recipe, and all the tools and ingredients you need to make it, visit us at gourmetwarehouse.ca.